Hi everyone, I'm Ate. I'm sure you know me by now, but I, I used to fly Rafale, just like this one for the French Navy. Got my training in the US, uh, flew general aviation before, world um, championship in precision flying, air rally, stuff like that. Welcome to Aviation Esports channel. That is my second channel. My main one is uh, Ate Shui. And today my goal is to take this new mod, the Rafale, for a spin and let you know a little bit more about the Rafale itself. So that's uh, 11 Squadron, I served at the 11, at the 12 and at the 17 Squadron, flew Super E at the 11 and 17, flew Rafale at the 11 and 12 Squadron. And what I want to share with you today is nothing fancy, nothing secret, just to have a look at this mod and tell you a couple stuff about it. Um, okay, so here we've got some information about, oh, you see the light, there we go movement from the lights told me we're moving. <laughs> um, got some radio knobs here, lightning systems, MDPU, it's like all the, um, all the computer in the system. HUD, yes, IFF, yes, 7600, yeah, you wouldn't have this, but emergency, you do. Here you have those, what we call the mini throttles. So right now they're at stop, which means the engine should be off. Uh, that's my big throttle. Um, got all the electricity, landing gear makes sense. The, the clock watch here is for the Navy only, as a Rafale in the Navy, as a stopwatch like this. Uh, no trim stuff here, but hey, got four radio frequencies that is correct. Um, stores, depending on the configuration of the aircraft, it's going to give you different stuff. Here you have a touch screen with update, communication, IFF, air to air mode, air to ground mode, MCON, approach mode, navigation mode, page two, and right now we selected nav mode. Just above you can change radio frequencies, H is for the uh, rad alt, bullseye is to change uh, the bull, uh, the reference point, bingo is for the fuel, dest is for the destination, and you see it can be tricky. Up oh, there we go. Let's go back up right. Uh, weapon fail. Okay, so that's for different page. We're in safe mode. Um, arm safe. That's safe. Here we have a screen. So it's not really like this in real world, but gives you an idea. So we have an order saying, "Hey, that's your fuel vector." It's something you would get over the Link 16. And then you have navigation information with timing stuff like this. The head-up display is completely wrong. I mean, the shape is correct, but what's inside and the way it works is completely off, which is sort of weird. Here we would have a map with a lot of information and all our sensors gathering data. And here on that side, it's all the electronic warfare. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Then on the right, you have the norm spin mode for flight controls if you end up in a spin. And you have your uh, safety horizon. Here you got some fuel, fuel flow should, uh, should have say something and you have an idea of how much fuel you have left. Great. Ejection seat makes sense. Egress, yes, that does make sense. Let's turn. And here, looks like, yeah, we don't have that in real life. I mean, we could have it on, um, on, our, on our lap. But great. That's look pretty cool. Let's see a little bit how the aircraft flies now. So we're at 62,000 feet. That's, she's a beauty. She really is a beauty. Okay, so it's a Delta wing. Uh, that means it's gonna like high speed. It's gonna be able to accelerate pretty well with the engines M88. Um, it's gonna be tricky at slow speed because it's gonna start gaining angle of attack and it's gonna be very, very difficult at high angle of attack to, to not deplete speed, your wings become your air brakes. So all the information are in knots, uh, sorry, in kilometer an hour and in uh, meters. So it must have been taken from a Sukhoi or something like this. Again, everything is off in terms of um, head up display. You see the stick here, you see the stick, the weight moves, it is moving way too much. It should only move a, a couple, um, not even an inch. And here APU, yeah, so the right side is not as correct. Uh, great, so let's gain some airspeed. Let's go, gaining some airspeed, and... 
Okay, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll rate. G, so I'm looking at outside views to have an idea of, of the speed and... Okay, so we're at 31,000 feet. Okay, um... Yeah. Yeah, pallet doesn't like G's. I, I don't know exactly how much G's I'm pulling when I'm inside. That's why I'm switching with the outside views a little bit to have a precise information. You see, if I look at the bottom, I've got my airspeed, I've got my altitude, I've got the number of G's. Looks like G's are coming extremely fast on that aircraft. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it blocked once, around 15,000 feet, and I'm gonna start maneuvering as if I was dogfighting. So you see 450 knots, afterburner iron and I wouldn't have that black smoke like this and now I'm pulling 7.6 G's I should be able to pull a bit more looks like honestly looks yeah it's a bit sluggish real aircraft is a bit more agile definitely is more agile Robot seems legit. Descending below 10,000 feet. And let's see, roll right. Yeah. So when I pull back on the stick, I don't feel like the aircraft is really moving as it should. Let's, let's see a bit of slow speed performance. So I'm putting the afterburner on, using my delta to slow down a lot, and we'll see how it works. Okay, it uh, looks like the aircraft is a bit overpowered. I, I would say it's a bit overpowered, and I would say nose authority is a bit weird. Yeah, definitely weird. Uh, flight characteristics at that type of speed are, are, are bizarre. Um, you don't really feel the delta. Uh, looks like the delta wasn't taken in, into account enough. Let's see, I should have much more buffering as well. Okay, I'm getting an over G alarm, but shouldn't at those speed and below 200 knots. Okay, I'm running low on fuel right now. It makes sense with all the afterburner I did. But yeah, slow speed characteristics are not really what they should be. The aircraft is too agile at slow speed. L looks like it has huge engines. If you were to ask me, I would say those engines are way too powerful compared to the real Rafale. The aircraft should be vibrating much more as well at slow speed. Uh, and you see the, um, the rear shouldn't be like this. The flight control, it's not exactly the way they work. So to sum it up, I'd say the aircraft is too agile at slow speed and too sluggish at high speed. So it looks like it's gonna be a very, very good dog fighter at slow speed because it's very maneuverable, yet it doesn't slow down much. I don't, f I'm unable to slow down with a Delta as I wish. I would, I would like to be able to slot my aircraft and do very slow flying like this. We'll see if I reduce the power, if I manage to do it. Okay, so air brakes, that does make sense. You see the canard. I've been asking how does the air brake works. Now you see. We'll see how it works. Okay, so let's do some slow flying. So I'm almost out of fuel. So my aircraft is extremely light. Okay, I'm getting some minimum speed alarm, 100 knots makes sense. Let's try to raise the nose and see how he reacts, how she reacts. 
Okay. Now let's go full afterburner on. Wow, you see that's just insane. That is insane. So those engines are just overpowered. So I, I, I wish we could buy this Rafale. I'll buy it right away. That must be a Rafale with Russian engines on it, but with the weight of the Rafale. Okay, so um, can't wait to take this Rafale for a dogfight because might have to use the after uh, the um, air brake squad a lot to slow down in combat a bit at some points when you want to switch combat because the aircraft is so powerful you really have to play with um, the throttle and the air brakes I guess let's see how it behaves at slow speed okay let's see that's not good that is not good at all so you should have a s get out of spin mode as well on the Rafale. Wow, you see, so but now the engines are so powerful. It's just like an F-15. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Okay, um, so to sum it up, not really realistic. Why? Because the engines are way too powerful. Yet, I find it very nice looking. Let's try to land somewhere. Let's see how the gear comes down. Looking good. Can I take the hook down. Okay. 140 knots. 120 knots, that's too slow. 110 knots, that is way too slow. Yeah, makes sense. Let's go around. Full power, doesn't work. Makes sense. Okay. Um, Okay, so that's the test of the Rafale. Uh, what's interesting to note is that you don't really feel the delta. That's why I got tricked in the end, because like I wasn't understanding the speed, yet the trajectory. So it doesn't really fly like a real aircraft. Um, it is an interesting aircraft to fly, I think, uh, yet not realistic in terms of uh, of of movement and I'm talking not really realistic as a as a as an airship as a craft the law of physics doesn't really apply like they should so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something clean I'm going to bring it to an airport instead of doing something stupid and we'll bring it to this airport do a break see exactly how, how she behaves so I'm looking at speeds in kilometer and uh, feet. So I'm going to be looking at 300 meters ish. And in terms of speed around 900 makes sense. There you go, lining up with the runway, coming to the initial. Slightly low, I would correct 300, okay. And braking, 60 degree engulfment, braking, braking, braking. Let's do a pretty hard brake. Just gonna monitor the speed here. Speed is decreasing, gear is coming down. Okay, gear is down, I've got three light. 220 knots, which is fast. I'm gonna start my turn. The aircraft is sort of normal to maneuver like this should be more on the delta wing. I really don't feel the delta, which is sort of frustrating. What I like so much in DCS about the Mirage 2000 is really feeling the change in, in the way the aircraft behaves with the delta wing. And I'm really not getting that feel with this mod of the Rafale. And again, it's a free version. So congrats to the guys that did this. But, um, but yeah, frustration. And let's do a naval landing. Okay, 150 knots. I just restarted the mission, so I'm pretty EV. And now I'm gonna go full power. Wheels should have continued to spin, no big deal. The aircraft accelerates way too fast. You see, uh, almost 400 knots when my gear was inside, so it's just way too fast. 
But no, yeah. So the engines are just hugely powerful, yet she's a beauty to take for a spin and for a flight. Really like that aircraft, really like the paint job they did on it. Uh, so congrats to the guys if you want to take the Rafale for a flight, take it. But just beware, the engines are way too powerful. So I hope you enjoyed this short movie. Um, let me know if you've used it, how you like it. Uh, it's like a space shuttle, it's pretty cool. So pretty sure if you take it for, for a dogfight, you're gonna be able to, to do some damages because look at those insane flood characteristics. It just never stops climbing, which is great. Have a, fly, have, a, have a nice day, fly safe, and let me know in the comment section if you want me to do specific missions with, uh, with this magnificent Rafale passing 36,000 feet, still climbing. How cool is that? Oh, you want to try to eject? Nah, next time. Climbing, climbing, climbing. Fly safe. <laughs>